wasn't sure what to put there. Obviously, it would take more than four hours because it would be over a period of time. But because my children are so young, I'm going to say four hours is probably the amount of time considering that I won't be with them. Um, and I will be giving them a time frame of about uh, two weeks to complete it. Um, my grade level is kindergarten. It's for Volusia Online Learning. The name of my project is Picture Your Senses. The project idea is that I want my students to learn how to use their five senses to observe the world around them. My content standards, um, my science standard is recognized five senses and related body parts. And then for language arts, it's with guidance and support from adults recall information from experiencers or gather information from provided sources to answer a question. And obviously the question um, that I have down here, the driving question, um, I have is how do we use our senses to better understand the world? And then um, I put learning and innovation skill creativity because they have to be creative and innovate. Um, in for information media and technical skills, they're going to use information literacy. Um, I'm not using any of these others. And then for learning and innovation, critical thinking, problem solving, because they've got to figure out what they're going to do and why, like what object they will use and why. And then of course, they're also going to have to use what they've learned to help them to describe things and to talk about them. Life and career skills, flexibility, adaptivity, productivity, initiative, and self-direction. Um, instructional technology is just going to be video conferencing. And then, of course, they can create a video, um, you know, like a, like a PowerPoint. Um, or they can do, I guess, presentation software would be okay. And then digital photography tools, which would just strictly be a cell phone, but... I think digital video tools would be it. I didn't mark this just a little bit ago because I was thinking no. Um, so the culminating project, so this was sort of the five senses are through reading and observation. So they'll pretend to be scientists and describe how we use our five senses to learn more about the world around us. They will create a picture book or video to demonstrate their understanding. So I'm going to be using quizzes, which they will be absolutely required anyway, just so that I have grades. But I will use those to kind of guide my instruction and understanding. Also diagnostic just by checking in um, through videos and things like that. I intend to speak with them through Skype. But the videos would be there like if I'm getting feedback also prior to the quizzes. Um, pull on down here. Uh, excuse me. I've selected other as diagnostic assessment through student explanations because I feel that's probably one of the very important things is like they really don't know this yet because it hasn't been taught to them. And if it has, it's been on a very low level. So just making sure that they can explain what they're talking about. Otherwise, they won't be able to accomplish any part of the task. Um, I do plan to provide a rubric for them, but it will be one that I would discuss with them and create with them. And then oral presentation, they, if they do their video book, uh, you know, a picture book, it will be presented, but uh, probably most kids will do a video just because they prefer it. Um, this is just what we're going to do, video or, or a picture book. And then what resources? Obviously, I'm going to need books. Objects to explore, food, and videos. And the videos would just be videos that, um, in my opinion, rather than showing them videos that just talk about the senses, I would show them videos and then ask them what senses help them to observe a special character or something, maybe the setting. So I'm incorporating some language arts in there. Um, collaboration for the student grouping because it's an online course and my students are only five to six years old. I put that they will collaborate with family members, but mainly use their own knowledge to discuss how to create the video or picture book because I don't really want it to be their parents' work. I do intend to collaborate with some other teachers just to kind of get some information about their ideas of ways to make it better. Um, and then for the plan for the evaluation, I do plan to evaluate based on their ability to explain their picture book. If really they can't explain what they've done, then I don't think that they really understood and probably had a little more help than I would have hoped for. And then students will give each other feedback on presentations, so I'm just going to give them one person 
to give feedback to. That would be their peer feedback. And through that, typically, um, they'll find things maybe that they could have done a little differently, but I'm asking that they will evaluate what they like, what could be done differently, and any suggestions that they might have. I wanted to say thank you very much for um, the class. It was awesome. And I'm, obviously, this is very basic, but dealing with kindergartners, I think it does need to be. But my hope is that through um, implementing some of this, my knowledge will increase and, you know, I might take greater risks as the years progress, maybe like as the year gets farther in and I know that they have a stronger basis. And so that I can um, go ahead and use what we've built up to give them that critical thinking to give them a project that would actually be a little more on the road. All right. I hope you um, have a great evening. It's pretty late here, but, um, and thank you for this opportunity to learn.